I'm Audra Brown at the DX3 Trade Show. This is everything to do with retail technology, and this is a really amazing one. So let's say you go into a store, you want to buy a couch. This is a nice gray couch, but maybe gray isn't exactly what you're looking for, and dealing with those small little swatches doesn't quite do it for you if you're thinking about buying a vibrant color. Well, this technology solves that problem. No problem, because we have a uh, projector that we call Vizera, and it can basically change the fabrics of a couch. Yes, that is the same couch. And so is this, and this, and this. So what you're looking at right now is a what we call a smart projector. So we have a 3D model of the couch, and then we're able to match those fabrics and upholstery on the item perfectly well. And you could see this used in all kinds of retail spaces. Cabinet, countertop, backsplash, all at the same time. Paint, wall paint and wallpaper retailers uh, to help people visualize you know, their homes. I'm going to take you in here to this dressing room unlike any other. And people come in and then what happens? Well, this is an interactive fitting room. We convert it so people have a 3D scan made of their bodies. That's right. You just sit down, make yourself comfortable and perform your own 3D scan of your body so that the store can recommend the perfect fit of their clothing. Consumers are sure that they have the perfect fit and the uh, retailers also can provide a better uh, inventory based on the morphological behavior of their customers. Well, what about privacy? And now these people have a body scan of you. Yeah, absolutely. A scan is not an image. There's no image out of it. It is little dots in a 3D space. So with those little dots, we then identify exactly the measurements between each dot to create the body shape of the person. This little guy right here is Pepper, the world's first humanoid robot. Hi, Pepper. I'm a humanoid robot created by Aldebron. I'm a sophisticated combination of hardware and software designed to interact with humans and bring them joy. He's so too cute. He's really cute. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about Pepper. Uh, it's designed to engage with you based off your emotional cues and clues. That is to say, it takes those cues and clues and uses them to uh, figure out the best way to engage with you. Are you interested in talking about how I express and understand emotions? So for example, it, it perceives that you're being sad, it wants to cheer you up. If it perceives that you're already happy, then it wants the party to keep rolling. Creators say Pepper could have several retail applications. But as it learns more about you, it'll make certain that whatever it presents back to you is based on what it no, knows about you. Nice. Pair the perfect wine with that steak dinner that you're having. Exactly. Right. Or Audra had uh, this type of wine last time, and what's the next closest uh, type of wine to that that's actually in our inventory? Hi. <laughs> Well, Pepper is already up and running at various locations in Japan. The hope is that you could see him in retail or hospitality spaces here in Toronto within the year. At the Convention Centre, Audra Brown, City News.